Kevin Williams, manager of All Skill Construction LLC, getting ready to do a tile job around the tub area. So I already put my board up. And my tops, I'll usually just mud right there with a drywall meat and a board stock. And then my tile will go higher. So you gotta put tape and thin set in all your joints so that it won't crack. So I do that as I go along. First thing I'm doing right now is laying out my pattern. I'm gonna do a running bun pattern. And a running bun pattern is a brick pattern. If you look at your brick on your home, if you got a brick home, or if you look at a brick home, that's a running bun pattern. So that's what I'm gonna do with the tile. So right here, I got the line where my edging goes. So I got metal edging going at the edge. I'll show you how to do that. At the bottom right there, I got an eighth inch spacer down there. I'm gonna do an eighth inch. Since I got such a big tile, it'll look better. These are 12 by 24 porcelain tile. So I got my cut right here, which was eight and seven eighths. And then half on this tile right here from the wall is 21. So I got that cut and I'm gonna bring it on up so I can get my, where my edging goes. And I put my edging on, it'd be easier to do it that way. So I'll be back. All right, got my edging cut. This is a half inch. I'm gonna use, since I got a, a 24 by 12 tile, 12 by 24, I'm gonna use quarter inch notch. Usually you have smaller tiles on the wall, you can use an eighth inch notch, but this one I'm using a quarter inch since the tile is so big. My edging goes along there. And then I got one coming up the side. Where do you see the pencil mark coming up the side to meet that? See, I put a 45 in there to make it look nice and neat at the edge. I cut it with a hacksaw. All right, you have to get you a nice wet saw that can handle the size tile and Maybe a little bigger, this one might be the, can handle, and then that'll be the max. And if you go bigger tile, you gotta get a bigger saw. What I do is I just line my cut up to the blade. up to the blade and then don't force your tile to let the blade do the cutting got a fresh diamond blade on there from the last job i did so this will be the second time i use it wait till the water come through for you send it through there <laughs> Yeah, they say you're supposed to wear protective eyewear and all that, but I'm a carpenter. We don't do that. All right, I use tape to hold mine. You can use what you want. I use tape to hold mine up there so I can get my height of my edge strip. So from there to the bottom of that piece of ceramic tile is seven and three quarters. Plus I got my pieces cut. So now all I gotta do is make up my thin set put my edging on and then I can go ahead and lay this wall right here and then start on this wall. So it was pretty simple, nothing too hard. All right, we back. All right, you wanna mix your peanut butter, or you wanna <laughs> mix your peanut butter. <laughs> you wanna mix your thin set up to a peanut butter consistency. Not too thick, not too soupy. I left my drill at home, so I'm stuck doing it by hand, man. Oh, well. Mix it up like peanut butter. And 
and that's a nice consistency to mix it up make sure you mix it up real good get the bottom of the bucket don't want to leave no dry crumbs down there at the bottom of the bucket all right make sure you wet your grout board concrete board whatever you want to call it then you can put your pin set on here if you want or on your tile or you can do both i put it on my top if you don't wet your board you don't wet your board it tend to uh suck the moisture out of the pin set before you I got a quarter inch notch trial. Now walls don't tend to be need uh, every edge thin set of it. nobody walking on it so and on there nice and good and I got my eighth inch spacers What I'm doing is laying a quarter inch on the flat. I got that side done with the edging in. I'm working on this side over here, going the other way. Remember, when you put your tile in, you see I got my spacer at the bottom, remember, I hit mine like this so it can suck into the wall. Remember, wipe it off, put water on there. Don't forget to put tape in your seam. Keep your tile clean, cause when you get ready to grout, you don't want that have to clean off all that hard thin set. That take a little bit of time. So I'm going back the other way now. So remember the ceramic tile. I got these little ridges in there just so that the thin set can suck up in there. So when you put it on the wall, you can either use a rubber mallet and hit it. Some people use rubber mallets. I just use my hand. I'm pretty sure if you do a lot of ceramic tile, you probably want to get a rubber mallet, but I use my hand because I don't do it every day. If you do that every day, you probably get carpal tunnel or whatever it's called. All right, so I'm going across and going up to start working around this window. All right, only thing I got left to do tomorrow is the grout. And that'll be it for this. I got a little large, a little inside the window, so I just put grout in there. But everything all set. So I'll come back tomorrow with the grout, and then that way, or well, somebody told me I didn't do, I don't start and finishes. So I don't know where they got that from, but this is a start and this is a finish. All right, the ceramic tile job is complete. Nice little shampoo soap holder. I like to caulk around my tubs with ceramic tile caulk. Or shall I say grout caulk. 
it stays in there longer. Silicone washes out all the time. So the only thing that has to happen now is the painter has to come in here and do his job. And it'll look like a million bucks in here. But the ceramic job job is all set. Remember, I'm not a handyman. I'm who?